I'm a product of Ohio. I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. I uh, went to college for two years in Toledo, Ohio, and then uh, graduated from Ohio University. After that, moved back to Columbus and then up to Cleveland to work selling data networking for Fortune 500 companies to Fortune 500 companies. Sales quickly became my passion, and I knew that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Real estate sales specifically is what excites me because it's truly where people can build wealth. It's facilitating the American dream. That's what people get into real estate for. I mean, if you break it down to its core, they're looking to acquire a home, a land that they own infinitely throughout their lives, and they can create wealth, they can give it to the next generation, and it, it's really what America is founded on. It's what I get excited about. When I look at real estate, it's about wealth creation for the consumer. Specifically in sales, going through that process of selling to corporations, I realized that it is an art form and I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I took the success of sales and I started to invest that into real estate, managing properties, owning properties, and understanding that wealth can be derived through real estate at a, at a greater pace than um, pretty much any other opportunity out there. A lot of my mentors in life have told me that real estate is, is really where you can derive true wealth. And that's something that I found a passion for and it's something that I was able to help others achieve. So not only is it a way to derive and, and create wealth for, for your family and for yourself, but it's also completing the American dream. We're here in America with the opportunity to own property. This is a privilege and it's one that I help facilitate uh, each and every day and it's, it's, it's something that I know I'll be doing for the rest of my life. In 2004, I was licensed in real estate and found quick success. I set the all-time rookie record for my brokerage at the time. I was also recognized by RAS Media as the national publication of realtors as a rookie on the rise. And I just absolutely enjoyed helping people get into real estate. I uh, had a, a lot of uh, success utilizing the internet and online tools that actually drove business to my sellers. So they were able to sell their home faster and for more money with more uh, marketing prowess than a lot of my competitors had. So I, I, I took my marketing uh, background, my technology background, and my sales background, put it together, and just had a lot of success in sales uh, of real estate. After the success at the first brokerage, I actually transferred over to Keller Williams, um, which quickly became a great place to learn and educate uh, on bigger, broader concepts that globally realtors were using. So we were able to bring a lot of those techniques back to um, Ohio, the Midwest, and, and implement them to give our agents and our homeowners a competitive advantage. One of the things we learned was that you can go fast alone and you can go far together, meaning having a team of agents and a basic division of labor where people who are good at certain areas uh, can really dive in and have a passion for it and really push our objectives and our vision forward. And that is one of the greatest things that um, we picked up from Keller Williams and we just continue to implement it to this day. I was fortunate enough to go to a global conference that Keller Williams uh, puts on every year. And at that conference, I was I was with a, a gentleman, a realtor that came from the other brokerage that I had done a, a lot of previous deals with. We did a lot of commercial deals. And the reason we did those deals together is we complemented uh, each other's skill sets. And so technology, innovation, marketing, all of that was really my wheelhouse. That's what I enjoyed. I was getting more business than I could handle and give that high level of quality and service on the back end. Uh, there's a lot of time when it comes to the negotiations, when it comes to uh, challenges uh, of appraisals, etc. And that's where this gentleman, Mike Zinicola, and I decided we could put together an unfair advantage in real estate. In 2008, Mike and I decided to combine our strengths and create the Easy Referral Network. Digging in a little bit to our success really goes to the vision of, of who and what we are. And as homeowners ourselves, we started to or immediately realize there were a lot of opportunities in the market to uh, provide homeowners and home sellers something that doesn't exist. It might be just a straight, honest answer about service admin fees, this extra additional fee that just doesn't need to be there. Nobody knows it. And so we decided, hey, what if we don't charge that fee? Wouldn't that be great? Saving our clients this year alone over $300,000 just by not charging a fee that we didn't need to charge to begin with. So providing homeowners what they can have that doesn't exist and the opportunity to provide agents something that they can't find in current brokerages or on teams around the country. We're doing something different and really goes back to servant leadership. We work for them, they don't work for us. 
we provide them value-added services that allow them to service the client better. If you have a happy agent that has all the tools and resources, your home is going to sell faster, you're gonna have a great experience, you're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna move you to that next home and continue your American dream. Just continue the journey for you and your family. So success can be defined in three ways, right? The first way is obviously through rankings. Rankings were number one in the state of Ohio since 2016, top 25 in America, RES Media and the Wall Street Journal. They actually do a culmination of all the brokerages in the country each year, and we rank consistently in the top 25. So that that's one way to identify success. The second way though, and the way that we really, we really appreciate is the success of our agents that are on our team. They're wide-eyed and they're ready to rock and roll. Some great salespeople, very charismatic, but they just need um, the guidance. And through our system and our educational development um, and our experience that we can offer them, they grow into very, very successful realtors. We're literally known as the real estate network that has, quite frankly, all the good agents. We are a large team of very good agents, and that's something that makes us super proud, and we consider that success. The final way is the homeowners. The demand for our service is so high, that's, people ask us, why do you have so many people on your team? Because we have so many people calling us, asking us for a straightforward service with high quality, innovative marketing that, that they can't find elsewhere. So by providing this, the homeowners have demanded it and we've been able to take, quite frankly, our services on the road. We're now in Cincinnati, Columbus, Philadelphia, Toledo, Dayton, all of Ohio, and by the time you watch this video, we're probably gonna be in 10 more cities. Why I love running a large team is it's truly developing and growing agents. That's what I found as a passion of my own. Both my parents were educators, so when uh, I grew up, uh, money was not like the biggest opportunity in our family, but educating and growing people was. Um, I made the choice to go into sales because I heard there's a lot of money in it, and there is. Um, <laughs> then, then what I found though was my joy comes from coaching, development, and education. So teaching people. So since I've been a realtor since 2004, that's a lot of experiences that I can impart upon new agents that will give them more knowledge, more confidence, making them better negotiators, and it allows them to um, really provide the best service to our homeowners. So that's something that I'm passionate about. That's what I love about being a team leader. I also love coaching. Coaching and development, I've actually taken that to uh, another company called Glover U. Uh, Jeff Glover is the number one realtor out of Michigan, has an entire coaching company. I'm one of their coaches. Absolutely love and enjoy helping other team leaders grow their teams across the country. And um, it, it really just goes back to my roots. It goes back to being brought up by two educators. So Landlord Greg is a thing that a lot of people have found out about. And um, really that's just me jumping in an Astra minivan and driving to my investment properties and, and working on those. At the age of 24, I bought my first uh, multifamily. And through the years, I've, I've spent weekends and nights just uh, painting and fixing things. And I found even at, at this age, which is very, very young, that I still enjoy uh, that type of um, immediate gratification and that type of uh, craftsmanship and working on these beautiful old homes. So, uh, Landlord Greg, if you want to know more, hashtag Landlord Greg Instagram, and you can enjoy uh, the tips on horsehair plaster if you'd like. Real estate has a lot of moving parts, and with that, it's important that you stay healthy. One of the ways I like to do that is, is to detach and really enjoy time with family, time with friends, uh, golfing, and all of that can really create a better life balance, which allows me to be a more purposeful leader and, and, and better for my uh, homeowners and agents on the team. The journey of real estate has been amazing. I think it's because of the people that I've come across, not only the homeowners and the clients, but also the agents on the team, all of the, the partners that we work with, all together, coming together for a common goal and a vision to really provide homeowners an opportunity to uh, achieve the American dream, create wealth, and, and, and have services that they can't find elsewhere. I cannot wait for the future and to see where this all goes. So people say I'm high energy, and that's because each morning I run two miles, I work out, um, I, I, I lift weights, and I'm actually just talking now to see if these guys will call me out on this total like, lie. <laughs>